Hello, hello again, guys. I, a couple weird things. This doesn't have to resonate, but I thought I'd mention it. I was looking up, trying to look up the lyrics because this song came. I woke up with this song in my head. Who do you love? Right? And I couldn't think of who it was. I'm trying to look it up. And <clears throat> the song, Who Do You Love by the Chainsmokers came up. And I tried again. Asked Alexa, asked Siri. Now Alexa's going to go off probably. And so anyways, that could be resonate for somebody. I really don't know the song that well. So I don't know. Maybe it was just kind of weird. Or somebody needs to, to quit smoking. You're, you're uh, chain smoking. And it's not good for your health. <laughs> I feel like uh, weird saying that. But okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, not so much twin flame reading, but that's what these cards are, kind of twin flames, chosen ones. You know, um, this deck kind of reminds me of the Maggi's uh, chosen one deck that I kind of wish I wouldn't have sold now. But, okay, I'm turning them upside down, guys, sorry. As I'm speaking to you, but I, so anyways, hello, I feel ignorant, I'm sitting here doing this, I didn't even, <laughs> this morning is, is already been a little bit crazy, but the energy yesterday was horrible for me, I, it wasn't, um, I, I don't know, so, I don't know if anybody else had that problem yesterday, just like a real off energy coming through. Okay, and another thing. These two magnets, they fell off the fridge, which is kind of weird because just out of the blue, the fridge wasn't... Okay, so you could be stuck to somebody like a magnet. Let's see what came out when I said that. Abundance. Abundance, or maybe you are manifesting abundance. Uh, anything you... I was going to say anything you touch sticks to you, but that doesn't make sense. I'm trying to, I'm not going to, I don't, I don't know, I'm weird today right now already. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. I guess what I'm trying to say is like anything you think about in your head, it comes to you like a magnet. That's what I was going to try to say, and then this abundance Card is probably why I'm saying that. Look at we got soulmates coming out. Wow. Okay. So you two could be stuck like glue. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So let's see. Is it maybe you're gonna have abundance in this soulmate union? Cupid's arrow. You saw how many how I shuffled these, right? Hope, faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Hesitation. So somebody is hesitating a little. They could. This could be because of nerves. You know what? Let me clarify why they're hesitating. Why are they hesitating, Holy Spirit, on this soulmate union? Want to see what came out? Ace of Cups. <laughs> And, oh, there's the tower. Look at that tower trying to get out. Okay, so this could be a, a tower moment for you. Maybe you you just because you're not expecting it. Somebody manifested this. This is uh, Virgo and Gemini energy. And then we have the Emperor here. I wasn't going to pull this in a Queen of Cups and a Two of Wands. Okay, and then there's a Knight of Cups. So now I'm going to go back to this. We got Cupid Zero here. So that just clarified, okay, that <laughs> this is definitely, okay, we got the Sword and the Rose, which is clarity, truth coming in, communication, revelation. Wow, this is really weird how this happened. And, I, and I'm not making this up either. I've been doing um, out-of-town working, been doing 
readings with my two decks, and I said, did I bring any oracle cards out of the blue this morning? And I was just leaving for work, and something made me go, look at my nose is itching. Something made me go and do another reading, and I thought in my head, well, my daughter has better Wi-Fi, so let me get as many videos out, because the last couple of videos that I posted would have taken three to four hours at my place. It's unbelievable. So, anyways, you're getting your truth and clarity. This is protection, power. Somebody may have been protecting you here with the Cupid's arrow. All right, let me let me clarify the sword. Passion. When I clarified the sword and the rose, <laughs> this is awesome. Insane chemist and uh, why can't I speak? Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. No. This could be a commitment here. That that might be the tower. Well, an engagement ring even. Maybe a promise or something. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, complete union. Falling on the soulmates. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. I did not expect this. This just, to be honest with you, ugh, my nose. This is definitely happening for somebody. This is uh, literally changed around my day. Just the, uh, I feel happy, like looking at these cards. I, and it even says here, paradise, paradise by the, what is it, paradise, paradise by the dashboard light. Meatloaf. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. I want to know right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Oh, God. Oh, let me sleep on it. Baby, baby, let me sleep on it. Oh, let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Thank you guys for letting me do that. That just felt amazing. <laughs> no, it says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. No negativity. Okay. Let's see what the tarot says. What is this passion card? Holy Spirit, when is this happening? Page of Cups. That's a, that's a message coming in, or in a love offer, and it could be an apology in there. Somebody wants to balance the scales out. Okay, they could be looking at your pictures with the photograph coming in up, uh, missing you, want to make new memories. That's what it says. Now, it's funny. Here's another when I went to go grab this deck, the death card was showing. And you know how I usually go to the bottom of the deck? I didn't. But then the phoenix rising, that's transformation. So it's like, okay, Kelly, you uh, you didn't pull the card you were supposed to pull, so let me make it come out again. That's what I feel like because that, that's kind of crazy. I was like, should I take that card? Okay, so anyways, this is definitely meant to be here. This is a faded union, new phase, rekindle, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Somebody got a new perspective, maybe when they went through the Phoenix Rising or the Dark Knight of the Soul. You know, these cards sometimes can be, you know, all about, like, come out like twin flamish and, le and lessons. Do you see any negativity? And those, there's not one bad card here. There is somebody watching you. That could be about the worst of it. Now, I mean, if this is your person, no. But somebody could just be watching. And it does say focusing out. Maybe there's no communication uh, with that sword and rose. So you could be uh, mirroring each other's feelings or projecting outward on each other and not even know it. That could sometimes be why all of a sudden you'll get like, okay, the, your person comes in your mind consistently and you know what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, so, well, there definitely was a heartbreak here. So this is your story. 
uh, there was a heartbreak, and that's probably that tower moment. Maybe someone couldn't make a decision here. I in this in here the the engagement ring come came out. So here I go. I can't speak again. Somebody definitely is nervous uh, about what to say. I can't get my words out. Look, separation. So heartbreak, separation. If this is your story, right? Let me let me see what Tarot says. Clarify this se separation. Clarify the separation. What's happening? Three of Cups. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. The world. King of Swords. So, we got King of Swords and Queen of Cups here. Somebody. Hold on. Let me look. Okay, the reason this person's in the King of Swords or you're in the King of Swords is because somebody kept them stuck and bound here and and even a betrayal was here, okay? Nine of Pentacles, this could be somebody, you know, help. well, this is a, a happiness card and a card of feeling... Uh, successful and peaceful because you've gotten to the nine of pentacles. I mean, that's almost to the to the top. You like I say all the time, you might not be seeing that yet, but you know if you're creating that, right? So maybe somebody tried to mess with this success or something, or you just walked away from what no longer served you. Uh, put it this way. You, you were feeling in lack here with this, uh, this is the five of cups. <clears throat> See, now all of a sudden my throat. You could be, um, you could have walked away from, like, depression, or this could be somebody who is feeling down in the depressed over your, your success. Could be this Gemini, King of Swords, but it, it doesn't, that doesn't have to be the story, because... But the Five of Cups, maybe you walked away from a relationship or something like that. Or, or someone's feeling a little down. But they listen, they, this person, this protected you and held on you the whole time. I don't think they ever let go, or you didn't. Uh, that could have been somebody with that engagement ring coming out, somebody could have been saving up here for an engagement ring. I read that in a book the other day. That's what's so strange. So I know, otherwise I don't use that. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. Now look at the lovers. This, come on, this is definitely meant to be, this reading. Someone wants to collaborate with you. When The collaboration and the lovers and this two of wands here, Somebody has made a, a decision here. Okay, um, it could be a, there could be a message coming in about it with the page of wands. Quickly, or this is a very unique person. This could even be, with that five of cups coming out, sometimes this could be like somebody who wasn't very happy for, for this relationship or somebody like a third party that you walked away from. And we got, we got, if somebody could be destined for stardom here, or you two are stars, or this is an Aquarius, or someone's looking at you with, as wish fulfillment here. The battle's over. Nope, this is, uh, burdens, okay? So somebody could have just been overloaded with burdens, you know, look, he's pushing the, you know, those ten... Ten of Wands, that's a lot of burdens. There's houses in the background. This could have been something to do with the home. I never noticed the home. We got the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone is definitely coming in for a new beginning or coming back, coming back from the past. That showed up in the cards that there was a separation. Ace of Wands. Look at, I, so you know, these are how the cards are coming out. Nine of Cups, lots of love there.
This is not, you won't have to worry anymore. Someone's coming in to put you at peace. Uh, this needed balancing with the two of pentacles, though, and the three of pentacles, okay? Uh, I told you, or I didn't, I don't know if I told you, but with the two of pentacles and then going to the three of pentacles, it's like, how can we get balanced? Come, let's collaborate on a plan, okay? So that's what that, victory, ace of pentacles, knight of pentacles, slow moving, but solid, solid offer. Look at this, the sun card, the clarity card came out there, the sun. Oh, here comes the sun, do 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 here comes the sun, it'll be all right. I know that's not the word. Da -da 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 -da. No, really, sun, 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 here we come. Happiness now. It's, you know, this has been very difficult for you two or for somebody. Somebody got a new perspective. That also came out in the other cards. Uh, that's somebody, the changed mind. So that's double clarification. Soulmates. Soulmates, two of cups. This could be a king of wands coming in. Mm-hmm. Fiery king of wands. And that's the truth. Or they're coming two times. Truth and clarity came out. Okay, so. Or communication. <clears throat> Somebody was very strong here with the eight, the, the, okay, I just wanted to look if there was another eight at the, that came out. So, uh, this is a card of abundance, but it's also like taming the beast, being very patient, waiting for this king of cups, or this king of cups has been waiting for you to walk away from something. My air is ringing, and I don't I don't know why I paused. You could be walking, or this could be a Pisces that kept you stuck. Pisces, Aries energy. Um, I always put that uh, the sign after, but it could be what comes before Pisces, February, March. So like Aries, Pisces, because Aries is in March. Okay, so anyways, this could just be a card about you You were stuck. Four of Wands. 11-11, <laughs> the engagement reading card came out in there. Now I want to pull another one of these. Is there anything more from this, or am I getting anything else here, Holy Spirit? Just that separation card it stopped on. Okay. Uh, there was a betrayal. We already saw that somewhere with the tower coming out, right? Um, the coffee cup. This is to, this is my favorite card. It says meeting it. <clears throat> <clears throat> meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted. Friendship. So maybe you guys are already, you know, becoming friends or you're already talking. Or, but look at transformation with the dragonfly. You could have seen a, dra a dragonfly recently. This says, be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. You guys, this is awesome. This is really awesome. Kisses. Kisses. It says, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. Double clarification on the equal give and take. Talking. All right, I'm ending this. I got to go a little work. This is by far my favorite reading because I usually don't pull tarot with this, and I was nervous. And look at what came out. This is the... The story that's been coming out, well, there's a couple different ones, but this doesn't have to be twin flame just because these cards are. This could be, it could be though, but if you're getting back with your twin flame and you guys forgave each other and went through all the lessons, do you realize the abundance that you're going to have in your life? 
because you followed the guidance when you know when you just put things in the in God's hands and let them go they really do end up coming back around enjoy guys I really hope that this happens for you uh, if it does please let me know leave me a comment I am like a hopeless romantic even though I have never admitted it until this year 